Hi, I'm Evan Prococo, and you're at Box 109 American Prime Chef's Table here at the Hotel Indigo in Newton, Mass. Today we're cooking on How To Heroes, a very classic dish. It's braised short ribs. We're not going to do any twists and turns or any types of variations to this dish. It's going to be a very classic style of this recipe. First, we're starting out with some beautiful beef short ribs. These are all natural, no hormones, no antibiotics, and they're uh, produced by a farm in Burley, California called Brandt. So we're going to take a short rib, which has been cut into about a two and a half inch piece by our butcher, and I'm going to take some butcher twine and just tie up the short rib. One thing I like to do is when I'm tying the rib is double loop it so when I come down hard on the rib, the knot stays. Okay, that's the first step in it. I have a couple that we've already tied off. And we're going to get a pan hot. I'm gonna add a little olive oil. And we're going to season with salt and pepper. On all sides. And then we're going to take the short ribs and put them in this hot pan. You can hear them start searing right now. And what we're looking to do is brown them on all sides. You hear them? You hear how they're sizzling in there? If you don't hear them sizzling and you don't see the smoke coming out of the pan, you're not going to get this beautiful caramelization that we're looking for. This will do three things. It will give you beautiful color on the outside. It will change the texture because you're drawing the sugars to the outside, and it will uh, help deepen the sauce and flavor. Okay, we've seared the short ribs on all sides. Again, uh, we're looking for three different things. Color, flavor, and texture from caramelization. I'm going to remove them from the pan and then remove just a little bit of oil from it. To the pan, I've got some beautiful leeks, a little bit of celery, and some carrots. I'm just going to mature this. Go through just a little bit of garlic. I'm just going to take the garlic and just smash it a little bit just to release some good flavor. Going to add the short ribs back to the pan. I'm going to add some red wine. I'm using some Cabernet here. You can use Zinfandel. You can use Pinot Noir. You can even braise white wine if you'd like to. Um, Wine or alcohol uh, will really change up the dish. You could do it in flavored vodkas if you want to. You just have to be careful when you add something that's high in alcohol to a hot pan. The flame could ignite. So we're using just uh, some Justin Cabernet here, and it's a uh, full-bodied red wine. We're just going to let this reduce just to uh, concentrate the flavors of the wine before we add some veal stock. While this is reducing also, took some fresh thyme from the herb garden that we'll add right into there. Little rosemary. And a couple of bay leaves. And again, we're just gonna let the red wine reduce. Okay, as the wine reduces, uh, what I'd like to do is just turn the meat over so we have a little red wine that's gonna penetrate directly into the protein and just continue to reduce until there's maybe about, I would say about uh, an eighth of a cup of wine left in the pan. Okay, seems like the wine is reduced enough. 
can almost hear it uh, boiling a little bit differently. I've got this really nice veal stock here. You could either use uh, uh, Swanson's or any other type of brand of beef stock. You could even use water if you wanted to. So I'm just going to take some of this that we've made here in-house at Box 109 and just pour it right onto there. We've covered them partially. Just going to mix this all together just a little bit. I'm going to bring it up to a simmer on the fire and then I'm going to place it in a 300 degree oven for about an hour and a half. Okay, next we're going to remove the short ribs from the braising liquid. And we're just going to remove these strings very carefully. Just one. Okay, I've got some horseradish mashed potatoes here that we had in the kitchen. I'm just going to plate them right down the center of the plate here. I'm going to take the short ribs, slowly slide the uh, meat down the bone just a little bit so I could stick them right in the mashed potatoes. Now you could use mashed potatoes, you could use noodles, you could use rice, uh, whatever starch you want to use. Like I said, we have horseradish mashed potatoes here today, so that's what we're using. I'm going to take a little of the sauce, just spoon it on. Then I have just some crispy fried onions here that we just put on top. And this is very similar to what you would get at Box 109 if you were to order some short ribs.